This is the second day this week that we've been at the track. I've never done two Willow Spring days in the same week, but we have another lesson with Taka today. We're really gonna try and improve our line and solidify our line. And maybe today, if there are people here, we can maybe practice some tandems. It is a Sunday, so there are quite a few people here, but oftentimes people don't drive this track unless they're practicing for competition. So who knows, we might have the track to ourselves again today. We're gonna drop the tire pressure from what, what we were at last time, which was like 33, 35. We're gonna drop to 20 today. I think that I could grip up a little bit more and have a little more side bite and huck it in a little bit harder. Today we're gonna work on not lifting as much and listen for that blow off valve noise. Every time you hear that big blow off valve noise, you know I'm lifting. So rather than hearing that blow off valve noise, on my foot to the floor, I'm gonna try and modulate my throttle without fully coming off. That will make me a more aggressive driver and will be a little bit more control, which is what I need. So we're really gonna work on that today. We're going so low in pressure that you can see the tires bowing out. As always, we're gonna be running our next tire. We got Enferas, these are super, super grippy. When I was at Horse Thief on round two, I was driving these at like 45 PSI. I'm driving these at like 20 now. That's the difference of A, just improving as a driver, and B, the different track conditions, and what we're asking of the car is way different on this track than say, Horse Thief, which is that really dark horseshoe up there. His first rip for the day. Tire pressures are down at 20 psi, which is about 10 psi or, or more or less than what he practiced on uh, earlier in the week. So uh, it's gonna be pretty uh, pretty drastic change for him to get used to. So we'll see how he does here. This here will just be shake down, pretty much just make sure uh, everything on the car is okay. And um, we did some work on the car before this session, so uh, he'll probably just drive around and make sure everything's good with the car. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of car right now. That a boy. Unfortunately, we're having a little problem with the turbo fitting. I've been having this problem for since we got this setup. We've done like multiple fittings, but the oil return line keeps backing out and it's spewing and it's like spewing oil everywhere and it keeps like putting oil all over the hot side and it's like burning off. Very, very dangerous. So right now we have it out and we're trying to see if we can clean it off and try to get in there deeper with like a 10 and really crank it down. So we just took the whole entire hose off. So hopefully we can tie it down just a little bit. Time, baby. No, done. Uh, this side's completely gone. So we're cording on the outside, so more spring rate, yeah. Go the other way? I'll try. I'll, I'll try to watch that slow down. If one, if like last time you do this the other time, I'm coming off the band. And I was like putting a lot of that. That was on accident. Yeah, but but I see me slow. I see it down. the car slowing down. Yeah, you see it. Oh.
the better. Yeah, that's good. That's really, that was a commitment. If you had the uh, window in the wall, we are scraping the bumper. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be awesome. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you explain what happened there? Because where I was at with this camera, it looked like you went completely off course. But in reality, you were like right on the edge of the dirt and the pavement and you yeah. used the throttle to get out of it, right? Well, we kept, I keep throwing it short every time, which I wasn't having an issue with last practice, but this time talk saying like I'm really coming up a little bit too short because we're, transition, we're transitioning early after the other bank. So in result of that, I keep coming in a little bit too short, so we've been picking up the speed through the transition, and Taka keeps telling me to grow some balls, so I was like, <laughs> really trying to stay on it this time. So yeah, when you get really, really close, Taka was telling me that if it doesn't feel slippery, which it didn't, I felt gripped the whole entire time, you're getting so close to the dirt that like, the, I would say the smoke is like pushing the dirt well, up. Well, your tire is actually kicking up the dirt, and that's what it looks like you went off track, but you didn't. It was just perfectly right on the edge, so Yeah, you can awesome. see the tire marks from here. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Not bad. Didn't one of the Japanese drivers have like a big balls dance? JDM guy, he's like... No, that's a Yoshie dance. <laughs> yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Yoshie, Taka's wife, told him to grow a pair and she went... <laughs> the, ball, the big ball dance? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> So we just finished up making a bunch of adjustments to the front toe on the car. We raised the car up a quarter inch and the toe responded very dramatically. So we ended up having to do quite a bit of adjusting. Spent about 45 minutes rolling around on the ground and got everything sorted out. The car's all situated now, but it looks like TJ's um, just getting used to the changes we made. So that was the first pass you just saw. It's pretty good, but he can still get way out further on the, uh, on the bank. So we'll see how he does here on the second one on some warm tires. This man's live streaming while he's doing this. Hopefully you guys are tuned in. Not bad, still a little room for improvement. Hey, if you guys are watching the live stream right now while TJ's driving, or when TJ was driving, leave us a comment down below if you wanna see him do that more often. We're practicing about once a week, so if you guys wanna tune in while he's driving, let us know in the comments. Yeah, buddy. My man. Many of you fans of TJ's probably won't respect this car, but this is a Cressida wagon. I don't know what year, late 80s, early 90s. This is Taka's personal around town whip with a 350Z blue on it. It's got a 1JZ under the hood. He actually slides this thing. One thing I respect about this car is the Watanabe wheels on it. They're so sexy. Old school boys know what's up. Darling. Go Tej, last set of rubber. Make everybody proud. I think so too. Yeah, and he's uh, entering the center section pretty good as well. I think he's learned how to slow the car down, add angle, and 
Yeah, it's good. So he just has to adjust to the new course way of the Oh my god, what a day. I'm leaving the shop right now, fully unloading from everything. I had such a good time today. Taka told me that I drove extremely well and coming from him, that means a lot. If any of you are looking for driving lessons or wanted to attend like a drift school or anything like that, the link will be down below. I highly suggest you check it out if you're in the Southern California area. Lately, these like past couple of videos have been so all over the place. We've had so much going on and I apologize for that. Everything is gonna return back to the normal programming. I felt kind of like, not disconnected from you guys, but like, it's definitely kind of like felt that way but there's just a lot of big stuff in the works and a lot of driving stuff and a lot of build stuff and the new drop coming up and like traveling for events and we got Berkeley coming up we got Seattle coming up we got Hawaii coming up we have New York in like a month and I know if I just said your location you're like TJ what the fuck why didn't you tell me I'm sorry information will be out soon but just to give you guys like some type of not excuse but reasoning for why like why it's been so hectic for me and I've been doing my best to keep the vlog um, running smooth and up to date that's why I had Calvin film that one video and whether it's like releasing us a small video on the BRZ update I'm trying to keep you guys in the loop because that's like usually my number one goal so I hope you guys Forgive me just a little bit. I miss you guys. I really do. I just I felt I felt like we're on like a break and I I don't know, I'm being a girl. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Give this video a thumbs up if you saw improvement from the last video. I felt like my driving style today was tenfold better. And Taco told me that if I drop like this on comp in like six days, then I'll definitely have a top qualifying run. So that just like amps me up so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out and keep moving forward. And I'm feeling